Hi, this is Eric Elder, and tonight I'm going to show you how I create the cover for my book, Write With Me. This is what I'm going for. I've actually printed one out, um, but I'm making some edits to it today, and so I'm going to show you how I create the cover, and then we'll upload it all to Amazon. So I'm going to create this cover uh, using pages, and I've shown you earlier that I have the interior of my book. So let me share my screen here. Here's the interior of my book that we were looking at earlier. And it's got my inside cover page, the title page, table of contents, my thank yous, and then chapter one and chapter two and three and four. And the reason I'm looking at this, I want to make sure I know how many pages it is, and that will help us determine the dimensions of the cover. So my book is 103 pages. Now I'm going to search on Google and KDP cover calculator is what I'm searching for. And you can just click on that link and it will help calculate what dimensions they want for you to upload your book. So here it just says, enter your book information. And I want a paperback. My interior is black and white. My paper type is going to be white. My page turns are left to right. And my measurements, I want in inches. The interior trim size, I've made a custom size. So this little book is 4.375 inches wide by 7 inches tall. So I'll say that the width is 4.375 wide by 7 inches tall. And the page count is 103 pages. Then I just click Calculate Dimensions and look at this. I have a nice cover that they've shown me. And this on the right is going to be the front of your book. On the left will be the back of your book. And down the middle will be the spine of your book. And that's all going to be one graphic that we're going to upload to KDP. And then they'll print it on one piece of paper and it wraps around all your pages in your book and they'll glue it onto there. And that will make your perfect bound paperback. So I'm going to download this template. And if I'm going fast, you can watch this again. But again, I'm just going to KDP cover calculator and I'm just describing the book that I want. I click download the template. And it's downloading for me. So it's asking me to download this file. I put it in my uh, folder for my book. It's called Paperback 4.375 by 7 inches, 103 pages, black and white. It's a zip file. So I'll click download. And a zip file, that means you have to unzip it when you get it to your computer. So when I get here, here's this zip file, 4.375 by 7.zip. If you'll double click that, it will unpackage it and it'll create a folder with those files in it, three files, a PDF file, a PNG file, and a readme text that tells you how to use this. And it says open the PDF or PNG and put it in your template for your book. So I'm gonna take that PNG file, it's just a graphic file, I'll open it and show you what it looks like. And this shows me all my dimensions. So this is on the right is the front of the book. On the left is the back of the book. It's got a yellow block where the barcode is going to be. They'll put the barcode on there. You don't have to deal with that. And it tells me the exact dimensions. Plus it tells me, this is the important part, the overall dimensions. 9.227 wide, because we have the front and the back and the spine, by 7.25 up and down. So there's a little, a little extra bleed at the part top and the sides where the pink is up here, and there's a black line, that's where they're going to cut the paper. So they're actually printing on a larger piece of paper, then they trim it, that's why it's called the trim size, they're going to trim it to exactly 4.375 by 7 inches, but they need a little extra because see how I have blue everywhere, and if I just stop with white right there, they might trim it in the wrong place and you'd see a little white. So I've ex I'm extending the graphic a little bit more, so the blue extends off the page a bit, then when they trim it with their cutters, It'll work. So I need that dimension, 9.227 by 7.25. And I'll go into Pages, which is what I use. You can create it on anything. I'm going to create a new one, File, New. And it defaults to a regular size piece of paper, but I want to say File, Page Setup. And instead of US letter paper size, 8.5 by 11, I want to create a custom size. Uh, we'll call it. 9.227 by, what was the top? 
Let me double check that is true. By 7.25, yes, that's right. So I'm going to call it that. Now I'll tell it I want it 9.227 by 7.25. You can see it sort of rounded that to 9.23, that's okay. And I'll just say okay. And I want it to be just like that. So now here's my new background for all my cover. It's going to be this page exactly like that. But let's check and make sure I'm going to import that template, this template that we just downloaded. I'm going to go find it on my computer. And I'll just drag and drop that PNG file in there. And you can see I can just put it up in the corner and then drag down to this corner and it fills the whole page just perfectly. It's added an extra page. I don't want that. So I'm going to say, don't wrap any text, stay on this page. And so this is at the back of our book. Now I'm going to create that blue background. I'm just going to make a shape out of a square. I'll fill this whole thing. I'm actually going to move this just, I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to move it down a little so I can see it later. I'm going to find this blue that I love. I'm going to fill that whole thing with a, with a shape. I'll say I don't want any wrap. And I will change the color of that shape. Right now it's black, but I want it to be a blue or bright blue. That's a little, not quite the blue I want. No, we'll go to our big wheel. There, that's sort of the blue I want. All right. Now I'm going to take the logo that goes on my front and I'll insert that. Let's find the logo. Here I have it. It's called Write With Me Joe Elder Transparent. He created this, my son, for me on his iPad. And it's transparent so you see that blue through the background. If I take the blue away, you'll see that the white, you'll still sort of see it back here. So it's transparent. So now I'm going to put the blue back. And I'm going to put this logo right at the top. Then I'll add a text box with my title and my subtitle. So I'll click a text box. It's going to create another one. And I'll call the subtitle the ultimate guide to write and self publish that book on your heart, exclamation point. And I'm going to change the font to be white. And I'm going to change the style to my Eric Elder handwriting style, which I use throughout the book. And I'll increase the point size. Something like this. How to write and self-publish that book on your heart. And then I'll put my byline, which is my author name, by Eric Elder and friends. You can't see it because it's this isn't open all the way. There we go. And sometimes I like to make a little special font out of my name, so I'll I'll put it in small caps. I double click it, and over here there's a little gear that says capitalization small caps. And it makes it just a little different than the subtitle. Same font. I'm going to center all that. And we've got our front cover. So that's what this front cover will look like. The logo, the subtitle, and my name. Now we'll work on the back cover. So on the back cover, I'm just going to make it one big text block. So I'll say text. And I've got a new font. I'm going to go ahead and just put something there and change it to white so I can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. We'll make it white. I'll change it to the Eric Elder font. And we'll make it larger. Let's say 24 points. So I'll put this on the back. And then I can begin typing. I'll just expand this. And I can begin typing my back copy, which says, do you have a book on your heart? Don't know where to start. Don't know how to finish. I'll show you how. And of course, I want to make this a little wider. 
and the font must be too large because it's not fitting on the back nicely. So I'll just change the text size a little smaller. There we go, and I'll center it. All right, and I'll increase this so you can see better. I'll show you how. I've written and self-published over 35 books. This is number 36 and helped dozens of others do the same. I'd love to help you. Exclamation point, Eric Elder. Look inside to see what others are saying. And I want that to be a little better centered, so I'm just going to put a break there. But that's really quite nice. Now I need a spine down the side. So I'm going to create one more text box. I'll just duplicate this one so I don't have to do it again. Duplicate, arrange, stay on page, no wrapping. And I'll type on here, write with me. And it's by Eric Elder and Friends. So I'm just going to say Eric Elder and Friends. And it's too big. I'm going to shrink it a little. And then I'll rotate it. That might be too small. We'll see. Then here's an option here under Arrange. This is in Pages on the Mac. It's different on your different programs, but I'm going to spin this. Or I can just type. 270, and I need to expand it a little. Now, where do I place it? How do I know where it goes? Well, I'll show you a little secret. Put a little space in between here. That template, I'm going to click it, and I'm going to tell it it's it was down. I dragged it off to the bottom a little. I'm going to bring it to the front, forward. And I'm going to say, change the opacity to about half so I can see through it. Now I can move that template right back into place and you can see exactly where things are going to land. Well, clearly my spine is off to the right too much, so I'm gonna just drag this down a little. I'll click my spine and I'll drag it over here. So it's right in between those pink lines, uh -huh. right between the, the dotted lines, dashed lines is where it's going to Fold the pink lines are the safety zone. But then you also see this other side is a little, uh, the back is a little too far. It's hanging over. So I want to move that over a little to the left. Oops, not that one. Shrink that a little. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Now let's move this back up and see how that lands. It's almost centered, but the heart with the question mark, it's a little closer to the pink than the do you on the left. So I'm just going to move it a pinch more to the left. That looks nice. And I have avoided the barcode area down here. You don't want to type anything here. Let's look at the front cover. It looks like it's a little too far to the right to me. And these words are a little off to the right. So I'll move all of that. We'll move this away. I'll move all of that to the left a little. And I'll move all of this to the left a little. And you see those yellow marks popping up. That's showing me that it's centered with the object above it. So that's nice. I like that. And I'm going to pull this back up and look at it. That looks pretty nice. Mm -hmm. My spine text looks a little, if I zoom in, it looks, it's hanging over the pink a little. So I think I need to make the text a little smaller. So I'm going to triple tap to get the whole thing. Click text. Instead of 17, I'm going to go down to maybe 14, which might be too small, but you just don't want to uh, be out of that safety zone. You have to move it to the left a little more. Now the Eric Elder, it's just barely touching the pink, but I think we're certainly far away from the dashed lines. So I'll move this cover back up into place. Nice. So on the right, that looks pretty centered. That looks pretty centered up and down and over the sides. This looks pretty good along the spine. 
and the back looks pretty even and it's above the barcode. So I like that. I'm going to move this template out of the way and save this document. Arrange, send to back. Now that's gone. And I'm going to export this and save it as a PDF, and that's what I'll upload to Amazon. So file, export to PDF, best save, and I'll give it a name here. Uh, write with me today's date, and we'll say export. And I'll just show you what it looks like. So this is just on my computer now, right with me, class version. I'll double click that. Um, and there's the cover. And there's what it's going to come out as. And they'll wrap that around all your paperback. And in the next video, I'll show you how I upload the interior and the cover to Amazon. And then we're going to push order and request a copy. And that's how I got this one. And I can just continue to upload new versions. If I see errors, I can upload a different version, upload a different version. So uh, sometimes you don't have to worry so much if you got everything right just the first time. Uh, this is part of the trial and error process, but it's much cheaper to send this to Amazon. This cost me $2.15 to copy print this whole book. And then I mail it for about $3. I can get a copy in my hands. It would cost me way more to print a sample of this on my a desktop computer, all the ink it would cost me, or to take it to a copy shop. So I sort of use Amazon as my you know, as my test, my trial and error. I'll upload several copies, print them out, have them shipped to me, and then when I get it just right, I announce it to the world. So that's our session on creating a cover. The next one will be on uploading to Amazon.